Thank you for the opportunity to speak at OSPOCon. We are honored to be part of the first OSPOCon. Today, we'd like to talk about growing open source culture inside Sony. At first, we'd like to introduce ourselves. My name is Kazumi Sato. I am a distinguished engineer at Sony Group Corporation. I work on Linux-based system software for various Sony products. I also work on OSS compliance and relationship with community in Sony. Since 2002, when Sony started to use Linux, I have been leading system software development using Linux and introducing it to the products complying with the OSS licenses. I am a member of the Software Strategy Committee at Sony. My name is Hiro Fukuchi. I'm a Senior Alliance Manager in Sony. Work on OSS license compliance and relationship with OSS communities. I'm the leader of planning subgroup of OpenChain Japan Workgroup. I'm also a volunteer translator for OSS community-related documents such as OpenChain and SPDX. This is today's agenda. We'd like to talk about six topics. Firstly, we will explain the brief history of embedded Linux products of Sony. Secondly, we will present our challenges when we built the OSS community inside Sony. Then, we will explain the history of establishing Sony's open source program. And we will focus on the current status of our OSPO and internal community and community support. Finally, in conclusion, we will share the lessons we learned during our OSS activity. At first, we'd like to talk about history of embedded Linux products. This figure shows the brief history of Sony's embedded Linux products. These products are based on the embedded Linux. There were several turning points in this history. At first, we started developing TV and video products with embedded Linux from 2001. This timing is the starting point of our OSS activity. In this timing, we introduced Linux to stationary products. After that, we expanded other consumer embedded categories. In this phase, we introduced Linux to portable products which are less memory and storage than stationary products. And we expanded embedded Linux into professional products such as broadcasting products and medical products until 2012. Finally, we expanded embedded Linux into new categories such as robots and other phone now. When we expanded into other categories, we also need to improve our open source program and internal community activities. Next part is our challenges. There are some challenges when we develop embedded products and establish the open source program. First, introducing of Linux to embedded products and creating our technologies with OSS. Second, OSS license compliance for embedded Linux products. Third, growing internal communities and changing company culture to adapt open source culture. Next part is development of open source program. 
I will share the history of developing Sony's open source program. From this perspective, I will talk about five items. Leading team, OSS policy, internal community, community liaison, and training. This stuff is the basis of the open source program. This figure shows the brief history of the development of Sony's open source program. In this presentation, I divide the period into five phases. Dawn phase, introduction phase, early growth phase, growth phase, and now. This page shows the background of our motivation and challenges to use OSS and contribute to OSS. We have sought to use the latest technology through embedded Linux kernel since 2000. But there were many challenges to use embedded Linux in embedded products. First, support for various architecture. Second, use case of unexpected power down. Third, small memories and small storages. Fourth, long-term support, for example, 10 years. This figure shows the relation between embedded products and phases of developing the open source program. There were several turning points in this history. The turning point was strongly related to the changes in the business environment. Dawn phase is the starting point to use embedded Linux in products. In introduction phase, we expanded other consumer embedded categories. In early growth phase, we expanded embedded Linux into professional equipment such as broadcast equipment and medical equipment. In growth phase, we expanded embedded Linux into new categories such as robots and others. When we expanded into other categories, we also need to improve our open source program and internal community activities. In dawn phase, we used commercial embedded Linux. Sony released TV and video recorder products. But we had some failure with this release. We learned the importance of deep knowledge of the Linux kernel. Without deep knowledge of the Linux kernel, we could not develop excellent products. At the same time, we established the C Linux forum, which we intended to form a Linux user group in the embedded products category. But we have also failed for this forum because we misunderstood this forum as a trade group and a trade group is not suitable for OSS. We learned the importance of community way. In the dawn phase, we also prepared the foundation for future development. One is technical knowledge on Linux complying with the GPL license. The outcome of this was the GPL guideline, which corrected best practice for using Linux. This guideline was written by development team and reviewed by legal and IP department. The other is careful consideration of OSS licenses for applying embedded products. The outcome of this was EURA, End User License Agreement, with consideration of OSS licenses. And we prepared source code distribution site for publishing copyleft OSS source according to the return offer. The next phase is the introduction phase, which started around 2005. In this phase, 
the internal Linux development team began to deliver the internal distribution for TV and video recorder products. Sony as the digital steel camera and the digital camcorder to embedded Linux products. The internal Linux development team took the role of leading OSS activity. In this phase, we didn't have an explicit OSS policy, but we had a technical guideline, GPL guideline. This guideline is the center of OSS activity. Through GPL guideline, Sony's engineers got knowledge of the OSS aspect of Linux. In terms of internal community, we had a Linux user group for the internal distribution user. The Linux user group is the starting point of our internal community. In terms of the external community, we decided to communicate with OSS community through community liaison. We changed the activity of CLinux forum to adapt the open source community way. We hired community expert engineers and contributed code to Linux kernel project through the community expert engineer. The next phase is the early growth phase. The internal distribution expanded the overall electronics products category, including professional products and medical products. In this phase, we established a virtual OSS team. The OSS team cooperated with the Linux development team. In terms of OSS policy, we established an official OSS policy in this phase. In this phase, the policy focused on OSS license compliance. In terms of internal community, we established the OSS license committee. This committee is a virtual committee supported engineers regarding the OSS license. The committee cooperated with legal and intellectual property staff. In terms of training, we started a one-day training course on OSS license compliance. The next phase is the growth phase. A lot of the embedded products use the internal distribution and some of products also used Android and SOC vendors PSP. In this phase, we established a dedicated OSS team, OSPO. The OSPO cooperated with the Linux development team. The management recognized OSS activity. The OSPO was located under the Software Strategy Committee. In terms of OSS policy, we updated the policy for OSS contribution. We also prepared for the process for disclosing software as OSS and Sony's GitHub site. In terms of internal community, we established the OSS board for OSS contribution. OSS board provides advice on OSS contribution and disclosure of OSS. In terms of external community, each engineer started contributing codes and participating in OSS communities. We also supported OSS community in various ways, such as becoming a member of the Linux Foundation, contributing codes, participating in events, and so on. In terms of training, we added e-learning for beginner. The last phase is the current phase. OSS is expanding from the electronic sector to other sector such as games and
pictures. We have many OSs on the Sony GitHub site, such as neural network libraries, platform, embedded Linux. In terms of reading, OSPO and the Linux development team are continued to take an initiative to promote OSS. In terms of OSS policy, we have updated the policy for accelerating contribution. En engineers can more easily decide what they should do before contributing. In terms of internal community, we are building a global network of community. Sony has a lot of development sites in Asia, US, and Europe. Each location has internal community. We are gathering in each community. In terms of the external community, we are continuing our effort. In terms of training, we are preparing two courses. One is global OSS training, and the other is new e-learning libraries for remote workers. This page shows the summarized history of the development of the OSS policy. In the DOM phase, we created the technical guideline, GPL guideline. In the early growth phase, we established the official OSS policy. We are improving the OSS policy to adapt our environment. From next page, I'd like to pass to Fukuchi-san. From now, myself, Fukuchi will explain the current overview of Sony's open source program. We have OSPO and relevant teams and internal communities. Regarding OSS promotion, we have OSPO as a dedicated team. OSPO has six members in Japan and global network in the US and EU. OSPO collaborates internal Linux development team in terms of engineering, such as analyzing of software structure. Linux development team is the technical center of OSS development in Sony. They have been continuing the development of Linux since around 2000. They provide business unit with an internal distribution. They know both technology and OSS license compliance. The OSS License Committee is an internal community for OSS License Compliance. Sony officially recognizes the committee. The center of the committee is OSPO. Around the OSPO, the committee consists of legal and intellectual property staff, R&D staff, representatives of business units. The number of the committee is around 100. The committee has the responsibility to maintain the OSS policy. And the committee uh, supports the OSS usage in the business unit. In terms of OSS contribution, the OSS board is an internal community for OSS contribution. The board promotes OSS contributions and provides advice. 
The board consists of X parts of OSS community, legal and IP department staff, and public relations teams, as well as OSPO. We are building an internal global network. We have several business sectors such as electronics, semiconductors, games, pictures, and finance. We have many development sites around the world. There are internal communities in Asia, the US, and the EU, and they do OSS activities respectively. We are connecting those internal global communities and building an internal network through interna international OSPO teams. Linux user community is a technical community. These members use an internal distribution that the Linux development team developed and provided. This figure shows the Software Strategy Committee, which is under the Technology Strategy Committee. The Technology Strategy Committee is a technology-based activity body across all Sony Group. It is committed to strengthen the group's technological capabilities and supporting Sony's future leap forward through cross-organizational interchange. The Technology Strategy Committee has 10 technology board domains and software is one of the technology domains. Software Strategy Committee's philosophy is to challenge it to acquire new technologies and respond to changes in order to enhance software competence and revitalizing the, the organizations. The OSS License Committee and OSS Board are located under the Software Strategy Committee. In terms of corporate organization, OSS Promotion Team, OSPO, is located under the Corporate Technology Strategy Division, CTSD, uh, right side in this fi figure. CTSD has mainly the responsibility for gathering technology information and planning technology strategy. Fukuchi is the chair of OSS License Committee and OSS Board. Sato is Corporate Distinguished Engineer, DE. Corporate DE formulates and drives technological strategies and accelerate talent development of engineers to ensure Sony's sustainable growth. Sato is also a member of the Software Strategy Committee. To align OSS activities, Sato bridges OSPO and Linux development chip, which is under R&D Center. We, Sato and I are collaborating with each other. This figure shows OSPO Global Network. We have three OSPO teams in Japan, the US, and the EU. The number of staff in each team are six, two, and two respectively. Each team is collaborating with the other. Sony has many technology development sites in Asia, the US, and the EU. 
Each OSPO covers the respective areas. We developed two types of documents for OSS. One is GPL guideline. That is technical guideline. GPL guideline is knowledge base from experience of Linux kernel development since around 2000. GPL guideline is the technical guideline, but it tells us the spirit of OSS communities. We should respect OSS communities. GPL guideline also shares the best practices of OSS license compliance from the perspective of engineering, such as explanation of linking, source code disclosure, license text. This engineering aspect of OSS license compliance is very important for us to develop embedded Linux embedded products with OSS. The other document is OSS policy. This document is officially published inside Sony. In the document, we define our basic policy that is to promote the OSS usage and contribution. In this document, we define the OSS usage pro process. For contribution, we define processes for OSS contribution, publish, publishing software as OSS, and presentation at OSS events. We have several training courses on OSS. One is the key technology training course. This course is a training for one day. This course is full of learnings from about the OSS community to license, OSS license and strategy basics. This course is in the Japanese language, but we translate the text into Engr English language. The other two courses are taught in English language by community liaison staff. These courses focus on the OSS community and tools for Linux kernel contribution. We have e-learning for the basics of OSS license compliance. We also prepare a training course for new employees. This course teaches the basics of OSS and introduces the overview of Sony's open source program. We have internal OSS events to promote OSS inside Sony. These pictures are from events of Open Source Day and Sony Technology Exchange Fair staff. Open Source Day is an event where many engineers from around the world share their OSS promotion and contribution activity. Last year, we had best practices on contribution to WebKit project, LLVM project, and NatX project, as well as internal OSS tools by R&D Center. The Sony Technology Exchange Fair is one of the largest company-wide events held annually since 1973 with the aim of promoting technology communication across the Sony group. Last year, we had an OSS session at the STEF. 
In terms of community support, we recognize the importance of the OSS community relationship. So we support the OSS community in various ways. This page shows our contribution to OSS communities. Sony contributes to OSS communities through membership of OSS organization and project, such as Linux Foundation and OpenChain project. Providing OSS maintainers such as Linux kernel, NatX real-time OS, Fuego test framework, are ROS2. Sponsor of OSS events such as OSPOCOM and ERC. Providing program chairs of OSS events such as ERC and Japan Technical Jamboree. Sony has disclosed many software as OSS. Sony has contributed code to OSS communities. This page shows some examples of Sony's contribution to OSS communities. For uh, published as OSS, we have Nabla, the neural network libraries, Flutter for embedded Linux, MapRay.js, NMOS, and OpenColor.io, OpenQ, and Spresence SDK. For the contribution, we contributed Linux kernel, WebKit, LLVM, ROS2, Apache NatX, Fuego, OpenChain, and SPDX. Sony's community liaison staff Tim Bird and Frank Lowland contribute as the Embedded Linux Conference Program Chair. Their contribution has been recognized by the OSS community and the Linux foundations. Conclusion I will summarize our lessons learned. We learned many things from development using OSS. To develop products using OSS, the core competence and community way are most important. Open source culture is important for long-term and continuous development. Internal community support products development. Engineers are required to understand the importance of OSS community and the skill of OSS development. OSS policy and operation are important. If the business environment changes, we can adapt OSS development through OSS policy. Of course, cooperation between engineering and license compliance are also important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining this session.